Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Plays Rim World. Um, I don't exactly know what to say. From the last time, nothing much changed. I'm super happy we're having an eclipse in the middle of a volcanic winter. So, you know, that makes sense. Fire Emblem has decided to go all the way <laughs> in the middle of nowhere to eat his food by himself. I guess he didn't want to talk to anybody. I, I get you, man. Sometimes I don't want to talk to no nobody either. Just wish you'd have picked a table because now you've got the um, 8 without a table debuff. Eh. Do, do your thing. I don't care. We've got a prosthesis trader. Uh, they usually don't have much things we might be interested in, but we're gonna look anyway. And yeah, this is just items, and although we might want them, we certainly don't have a lot of money. So it's uh, it's not really important for now. Ooh, we do need an eye though. So uh, this uh, golden eye, what it does is it improves talking, but of course it removes an eye. And it's not, uh, it's not a working eye, it's not a robotic one, it just looks pretty good. Uh, but that's useless because Fardem is a psychopath, he doesn't talk to people. So I'm starting, I'm starting to think that we'll have to remove an eye from um, somebody that will attack us. So raiders or something like that will be interested in removing them. An eye. Ooh, alright, so this is great. We have finally finished the research for the rib replacements, which means that Fire Them will be that much closer to becoming a robot. Um, occupational clothing. What the fuck? Sue further complicated garments for common occupations. Huh. Well, I didn't even know there was this um, mod available, but we're not like, gonna. We're not gonna pick that yet. There are some more interesting things we could take and I think we'll go for the circuit breakers. I've been talking about this for a long time now and it's about time we get rid of the makeshift fuse and make something good out of it. Fardem and Eva are um, mining together. Of course Fardem is mining a lot faster because he's awesome. Fuck you, Eva. Eva is basically our new Kudia, really. Because she's just as useful, I guess. At least she can mine. We could talk at length on how much Kudia is uh, um, not missed in our colony. Okay, so this. Uh, pump will actually expand their its radius in one day in 14 hours, so I'm I would remove it But I want to know where it's gonna go because as you can see normally we see the maximum range and the range They're actually using right now then this one has the same So I don't know if I, I've never used moisture pumps before and I've never reached one uh, I've never had one reach the maximum range so I'm interested in seeing uh, how things are going to go. Okay, so Firedem is coming back. He's going to eat and it's not too late at night. So after he's done eating, I'm going to... Wait, no, 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 Sorry, um, nutrient paste meal are just a uh, disaster waiting to happen. Um... I am going to give him some new ribs. Oh god. Okay, so we've got the third and the eighth. So install adrenaline rib on the third and install painkiller rib on the eighth. Alright. So he's gonna eat and then he's going to go to bed and Jessie's gonna cook and once that's done she's going to install the ribs on fire down. It's about time too, he's been uh, ribless for a while now. I just hope nothing bad happens. Because every something bad can always happen during surgery, so you want to be careful about that. 
But since Jesse is amazing at her job, everything will be all right. So we've got two awesome ribs, and we're gonna have a lot less pain and a little bit more moving speed. So that's gonna be good. Um, arm forbid everything and reforbid of the nutrient paste meal. Those two, I wish we could sell them as soon as possible. Hollerbot, what the f Okay. Well, that was useful, I guess. This one. He's hauling. Oh, there was a wild boar. A bear? Boar. This is good. The more boars we can have, the better. And everybody's almost done removing the granite walls and the floors and the ancient cryptosleep casket. Can't wait for this to be done and we'll build the beginning of a wall here. And fire them is healed. Perfect. Oh, I understand now. He's actually digging first. I would like you to dig second. So... Oh no, I want you to construct first. And that is the difference. That's why things haven't gone very fast here. It's because only Firelight was taking care of the deconstruction. And construction, I guess. Oh, and we have, we've got steel here too. That's great. So we're going to order something here. Alright, we will have to fill this area um, once the steel is gone and oh oh no that's just the eclipse okay I was hoping for the volcanic winter to end it's been one season in four days and it's pretty annoying it's not a big problem but it changes the color schemes oh no wait 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 wait, wait. shit I did not know removing floors would bring a marsh. That is stupidly bad. Although, although, not that bad. So we're going to cancel this order and put walls instead. Yeah, okay. Because we don't actually need to have floors here. Uh, having a marsh is not a problem. But I am surprised. I was pretty sure there would be uh, dirt or something under there. Okay. That's, that was useless. So we'll build the walls instead of removing the floors. That's going to be better overall. And we're, we're going to remove the floors too, but after. And I'm going to make a better remove floor thing. There we go. So we'll actually remove everything. And this pump is gonna work, this one too. These are taking their sweet time, but at some point, uh, at least this the, the part of the marsh that is gonna be walled is gonna be removed. Okay, so all of this is good. Uh, we're gonna have a few more resources we didn't really need, but it's always good to have it. And we will have to... I think I'm gonna continue this wall on this side. Oops. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. No. Oh, god damn it. No, wait. You have to be careful, because... Um, if you make a square like this, this wall has a chance of either never being made or having one colonist going on the wall to build the other ones and then get stuck. So um, this is the best way to make it so that they don't actually get stuck. I know it would be pretty stupid, but that's just how the AI works. And we've removed all of the steel that was here, so we're going to rebuild the wall. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want enemies to come on this side and go through our um, battery room and then to our... Uh, well, to go behind our defenses. 
Alright, so as soon as this steel has been taken, I am going to build the wall. Just one. Oh. Well, okay. I was scared for a second, but it's just Valdez, as always. So I'm gonna wait for this wall to be built. Because, as I said before, there is a chance for somebody to get stuck in there. And actually, this... I just realized that this could be our new battery room. Uh, we are going to add three more batteries on this side. So, I am going to mine this... Oops. That, that was wrong. And this is better. Alright. So, we're going to mine this. And it actually doesn't matter anymore. Uh, on how we've made this place so they're gonna build everything no matter what all right now now that the horror bots don't have much work to do anymore I'm thinking that I'm going to remove these uh, slate blocks slate chunks the reason why I'm removing them is not because we need slate we have a tremendous amount of slate um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to clean this area so it looks nice. So this is mostly just a um, visual order. Alright, so the makeshift fuse has probably been used for the last time. Our batteries are just going to get filled right away. As soon as Firedam does something... And we are being raided. They are attacking immediately. How? Where are they? Oh shit, what the? Oh god damn. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, did I say okay yet? Because, okay. <laughs> we have a problem. Deactivating the bots is the first order of business. Second order of business is having everybody, except Rothschild, uh, including Rothschild. No, excepting Rothschild. Wait, give me a second. Everybody is drafted and goes into the pleasure room. Rothschild, you go away. That is uh, the one thing. Uh, Eva and Mia have to get out now. And Tico too. Oh shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Everything's good. So now that the um, Strike Force Hailstorm people are here, they all, uh, they all have pistols and they will destroy this room at least. Oh shit, they're outside too. Fuck. There's a shit ton of them. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we wanted a challenge and there it is. So we're gonna ask Valdez to go here, call in there. For now, um, they are going to attack everybody. Oh shit! Sorry, it's pretty loud. I'm gonna lower the volume. Uh, we've got cargo pods. We are going to care about this later. Fire them. You go here. Uh, I don't like Eva. Eva, you come here. And Mia, you go to the middle. And Firedam goes here, and I think he's got... Yeah, he's got enough range to cover this area. Perfect. So there's a fire. Where is... Oh! Jesus Christ, these assholes. Okay, so Firedam will actually run here and try to kill Chavez. There you go. Jordi now? Whatever. Okay, he is being a dick. No, okay. Maybe he's got range, does he? He doesn't. Damn it. Come on, fire them. You guys. You guys stop being dicks and just do something. Oh wait, come here. Come on, kill him! Fire them! Yeah, there you go. Come here. Fire them is a demand. You know what? Go and kill him in this face. In his stupid face. Perfect. Alright, so where are the other guys? Oh, there they are. They're going on the left. What are they doing? Attacking the power switch? Power conduits? Where's the power switch? 
The power switch is right there. Okay, so everybody will actually come up here-ish. Yeah, that's good. And fire them. Who is hurt, but it's only a small burn, so it's all right. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, since he's got one less eye, he's not as good as the others. So a uh, rough child will take care of the fire. Oh god, he's not as good anymore at shooting. Oh crap! There's more people. No, wait, come here. got a better gun so perfect how's everybody going everybody's oh did we kill everyone oh there's uh, this guy here he is uh, dying oh because he fought the sentry uh, which is not there anymore did we move it I think we moved it I think we moved it on the north side, didn't we? Shit, we've got one less sentry than I thought we had. I don't recall where we've put it. This is disappointing. Okay, so everybody is undrafted. I don't understand why they haven't run away yet, because I'm pretty sure we've killed all of them. We're gonna need a crap ton of new beds though, because there's a lot of prisoners and since they come from the Strike Force Hailstorm, which is super hostile, uh, we are going to um, undraft everybody and we are going to capture everyone. And we're going to make this a prisoner bed. So we're going to have seven prisoners' bed for now. It's going to be a pain though because um, we won't have. Medical beds for fire them, but he's most uh, probably not gonna care all that much because he's not that hurt. Um, trying to figure out if we've got everybody here. Yes, there's Keiko and let's go with Colin. Eva has okay. So fire them, you are going to go kill Lexo here, who's a stupid doo-doo head. Oh, no, wait, he died. Oh, there's the sentry. <laughs> okay, um, so fire them is undrafted and everything is unforbidden, unforbade, unforbidden, whatever, except for the um, nutrient paste meal, which is in a terrible state. Wait, Roughchild, why are you on fire? Stop stop being on fire, Roughchild. Seriously. You've got burn scar? God damn. I have to cure that later, but still, god damn. Okay, and we have to rebuild these walls. As you've you may not have noticed since we've pretty much been um super attacked. But these walls held for a long while. And that is great. It means that our strategy is working quite well. They have destroyed our sculptures though. Oh, that is shitty, man. That is shitty. Shitty, shitty fuck. Okay. Uh, I am annoyed. It's all right, I mean, we're gonna live through it. It's not like it matters all that much, but still a bit disappointed. Okay, so now we have captured about everybody. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's take care of the cargo pods. Oh, yeah, good, more nutrient paste meal. Jeez, what are we gonna do without those? Um, well, this is great actually because, oh wait, everybody's cold. Why are you cold? Why is it minus five inside? Ooh, yeah, because everything's, no? Why is that not heating? It should be 21. Why is it cold? Oh, because of this and because this is outside too. Okay, 
So we're going to toggle the airflow. As for this, this is hot, this is warm, but, well, not hot, but warm at least. Okay, so only these areas and the corridors are cold. And this was cold because of the vent. But honestly, I'm gonna get rid of this vent. It's not useful anymore. Uh, my servant is no longer capable of walking. Okay. So I'm gonna look at the uh, characters. This one's incapable of social, but it's good at medicine and research. So that's basically a bad Jesse. Mike is incapable of a lot of things. Uh, Ignat or Freckles, whatever, is a good artist, a good crafter, a good researcher. <sighs> but he's a pessimistic, and honestly, we don't need <laughs> any more uh, permanent negative mood effects. Kiko is incapable of nothing, but is good at not much. It's good at growing and medicine. We don't need this. Right now, construction and mining is good, but it's not really good. And this is this guy is incapable of everything. So, well, we're going to... What I'm going to do is first I'm going to release one of them once they're healed. If the one we uh, release gives us the bonus uh, with uh, whatever society that was, I am going to release all of them. Except for one, because I need one eye, basically. However, if, and I do mean if, things don't go as well, and we don't reduce our faction hatred with the, the Strike Force Hailstorm, then yeah, we're going to harvest everybody's organs. Okay, so Fire Dam, seriously, you need to start building stuff. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to be of huge importance. Yeah, they destroyed our roofs, too. That's just mean. What? Okay, he's holding wood for walls. No, wait. How is this a double bed? A wooden bed? What the fuck? Okay, no, 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 no. How? Since when, since when do we have double wooden? God damn it. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, this is bad. Why, Tico? You should have told told me, man, that you were working. Uh, you were sleeping on the wooden bed. This is so bad. Oh my god. I am so sorry, Tico, for having uh, let you sleep like that. This is terrible. Oh, yeah, I, I was thinking, where are our haulers? But we've deactivated everybody, so let's go haul. Oh, wait. Oh, thank God. I thought somebody came out of the, <laughs> of the crematorium, and I was like, holy shit, something is really, really freaking wrong. No, uh, but no, things are weird. They're not wrong. Alright, so now we got our beds for almost everybody. Some of the uh, people here are. Oh wow, he's got his boat, uh, both his eyes um, burnt. So Mike is gonna be the first one to be released, and I'm gonna ask Rothschild to do that right now. And let's see how things go. Still have some things we haven't. Uh, captured yet? Uh, there's a disease. Nobody cares. Wait, how is there diseases? These are this is medical beds and oh, there's a bit of blood on the floor. But god damn, this is like the best chance possible to not get an infection. You've got sterile floors and uh, good beds. So let's see. Just get out, Mike. Come on. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, so these guys will not be nice to us. So we will harvest them. First harvest. Uh, although, we're gonna look for implants first. Uh, 
Yeah, so we got a synthetic lung and a frail torso. Well, we don't care about this. So we are going to remove the, um, wait, amputate left leg? Oh yeah, he's got an infection. We, sh we have to amputate. That's for damn sure. And I want that lung. How can I... Why can I not get this synthetic lung out of him? Oh, remove part. Sorry, I hadn't noticed. Okay, so by removing the leg, we are literally going to uh, remove the infection. As soon as Jesse's done sleeping, of course. Um... Eva, where is Eva? And why is she not sleeping in her bed? Oh, well, just hold something while you're there. God damn. And uh, since Lystra is gonna be out of it anyway, might as well harvest an eye. Okay, so uh, let's remove the infection. And there's a robot trader, but we don't actually need those. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep the harvesting of the prisoners for the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below the video. I would love to chat with you guys. And if you could like the video or subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. In any case, I hope you will have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.